Welcome to a laptop combination lock that was given to me by Hilti Home. Buddy, thank you very much for the lock. Yeah, it can be decoded, but it requires the indirect method. But first, let's have a look at how it works. Quite simple. There is a lever. If you push down the lever, the middle arm here on this mechanism gets towards the center. So you can now stick it into the slot on your laptop. Then you release the lever. Uh, it's still springy, but if you change the code, first of all, you cannot push the button. And now this is stiff and so the lock will stay in the slot unless you change the code to what was it maybe all zeros I don't remember yes <laughs> then you can push the button again and remove the lock quick note before we start decoding combination locks fall into at least two categories one that can be decoded by uh, tensioning the internals and feeling a change of resistance on the wheels and the other category is different the mechanism is built in a way that uh, pushing the button or uh, pulling the lever or the handle or the uh, shackle or whatever does not change resistance on the wheels. So they have a little spring inside and the mechanism is totally different. Um, the second category cannot be decoded by feeling a change or feeling of a change of resistance on the wheels. Maybe they can be decoded by using a feeler gauge and uh, feeling a flat spot on the code wheel, but this is not the case here. We have a lock here that can be easily decoded by tensioning the internals, by pushing the button and feeling a change of resistance. So let's get started. All right, in order to uh, change the code, we have to push down this little button. Now I can change the code. Release the button and change the position of the wheels again. So now the code is unknown and I have to decode it. Usually what you would do is you would push the button in this case and try to find um, a loose spot on the wheels. Uh, this is not working quite well here so the gates are pretty tight and you cannot really distinguish true from false gate. But let's start slowly. First, um, first thing to do is push the button and find the binding wheel. So let's start. This wheel is not binding. It's spinning more or less freely. Second wheel the same. Third wheel is also spinning almost freely. The last wheel is really tight. So we have to work on the last wheel and normally you would see you would find a position where the gate is wider on one number compared to the others. But here the difference is not very uh, dramatic, so I cannot feel um, a good difference between the true and the false gate. But what you can do is you can see what impact the position of the last wheel has to the next binder. And in most locks it's um, a straight line, like in this. This is the first binder, second, third, fourth. And you can somehow feel it. This is not totally tight, but also not, not really spinning freely when you push on the button. This, the second, is spinning really, really easily. Same with the first. So I assume that the third wheel is the second binder. And what I do is I have, um, I start with zero for example. I have the last wheel in one position and see what the next binder says. So the next binder is spinning freely, so zero is probably not the right number. So I release tension, turn to the next number, push the button again and try the third wheel, the next binder. Continue with eight, still lose, still lose at seven, six, still lose, still lose at five, Oh, at 4 it's getting tight, but it's not tight all the way around, so let's see, let's see a 3. 3 seems to be tight all the way around. Okay, so I believe 3 is the right number for the last wheel. Do the same for the next pair, 
uh, start with zero again for actually no good reason. So the third, uh, the second wheel, the next binder, is uh, spinning freely. So continue with nine, eight. Oh, I'm sorry, just opened it up. But I think you got the idea. You change the current binder one by one and see what impact it has to the next binder. This way it's very easy and very quickly and reliable to find the right code. If you cannot distinguish the position or the, 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 the width of the gate um, when you change the, the binding wheel only. So this is a very good way to very easily decode um, locks like this. Yeah, so <laughs> that was a little bit of fun with a laptop combination look. Thank you very much to Hilti Home for sending it to me. And thanks for watching to all of you. Happy picking and decoding and until we meet again, bye bye.